Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between left justified or left aligned text and fully justified text in Word and in Google Documents and why this is important and how to do it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this process right here in my Word document. Now I have a sample Word document. You'll notice this first paragraph was written using the default left alignment in Microsoft Word. And if you're a student, this is probably what you've used most of your life. This is the default option, and you'll see that not every line ends in the same place on the right-hand side, but everything starts in the same place on the left-hand side. Down below, we have a paragraph that has been fully justified, and we'll notice that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are even. Now, that sometimes means that there's a little bit more space throughout this line in order to make sure that everything lines up in a nice, even line on the right-hand side. Now, the way to do that, simply select your text and then use the Justify option, and now we have our text justified fully for both of these paragraphs. Now, let's do this in Google Documents. Here in Google Documents, I have a sample paragraph, and we can see that right now, this one is left justified or left aligned, which again is the standard option, the default option in Google Documents. If I want to fully justify it, I'll go up here to the align option, and now I'm going to align it this way, and we'll notice when I do that, now I have even lines on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, but we do see that some of the spacing has changed a little bit here in order to make that right-hand side nice and even. Now, why would you want to do this? Probably because your professor or your teacher asked you to do this. And that's as good a reason as any to fully justify any document that you're turning in to your teacher for a grade. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.